So Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy are heading up a new agency called Doge. That's the Department of Government Efficiency. And some of the federales don't like this too much. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the brand new government agency that President Donald J. Trump is creating called Doge. That's the Department of Government Efficiency. It'll be headed up by Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy. You guys may or may not know that Elon Musk back in the day, I guess kind of recently, was advertising and or pushing a crypto coin called Dogecoin. So this is kind of an extension of that same name brand, but in the truly useful government agency. Their goal is to cut government spending by two trillion dollars. I think they can do it. Our government is entirely too bloated. And that's the only reason why Northern Virginia is the richest area in this country. They don't have anything else. Ain't no Microsoft up there. They're not pumping oil out the ground. All they have in that area to make them so rich is your taxpayer dollars. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to take this time to give Rand Paul his flowers. Every year he does the Festivus Report. Last year, he was able to detect $900 billion in wasteful spending. Let me give you two examples, one fake, one real. Now, the first example, the government spends $325,000 to observe pregnant seahorses to see if they're going to grow by a quarter of a millimeter under certain lights, UV light, red light, blue light, whatever. Now, the second scenario is about $38 million dollars and COVID payments went to people who the federales knew for 100% certain had already died. Now, one of those is real. Which one do you think it is? Now, before I go any further, let's get into an actual video from Fox. We're going to get into a lot of the government spending, okay? You can see something right here. What's that? Is that a quail? $874,000. What could we possibly spend that much money on when it comes to quails. Um, <laughs> I'll link to the video in the box if you want to see it in full without my commentary. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. But the real progress starts once Trump's team starts getting its hands dirty. Elon Musk and Vivek are running the Department of Government Efficiency. They're calling it Doge, and they'll have plenty to do, starting with the pork. The Fed spent half a million on a study to see if selfies make you happy. A million went to study if Japanese quail were more frisky if you gave them cocaine. But like, why? Why? The Fed spent 20 grand on drag shows in Ecuador. 80,000 in Ghana asking taxi drivers if climate change makes it harder for them to drive. And a half a million was spent so Fauci could create transgender monkeys. Transgender monkeys. How does that work? Are they going to identify as they, them? H how does a monkey know of its own transgenderism? How does that, is that, is that a medical thing? I don't get it. But it's not just waste. There's 3 million federal employees, and a lot of them don't even do much more than collect a paycheck. Most government workers in D.C. are still working from home. COVID's been over for three years. But worst of all, half a trillion dollars a year stolen by fraudsters we lose 500 billion dollars of your money to fraud oh something else that we spend 500 billion with a b on per year migrants oh they do jobs americans don't want to do americans are so lazy all this that and the third well if they produce so much revenue then why do we spend so much money on them i don't understand how that makes any sense but let's continue each year we're getting ripped off like a Walgreens in San Francisco, and no one cares. We're not even locking up our toothpaste. Trump's about to put armed security guards, Musk and Vivek, in the aisles and catch the shoplifters. But Democrats, no, 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 don't like that. They want the fraud pork and work from home. Elon Musk is going to fail miserably at the homework assignment Donald Trump has given him at SpaceX, you know, they, they've blown up a lot of rockets to get to where they are. I'm not so sure you can blow up things in the federal government quite as easily. It's the Department of Government Efficiency and they've got two guys running it, yes. Vivek and Elon. That doesn't sound so efficient. See, actually, it does sound efficient, 
You know what um, Elon Musk did when he took over Twitter? And by the way, a lot of your celebrities, your Jimmy Lee Curtis, Don Lemon, Joyless Reed, they're quitting Twitter. I'll do that in a separate video because some of these meltdowns and stomping off, hilarious. But anyway, when Elon took over Twitter, he cut 90% of the staff and the app is better now than ever. So yes, you can be efficient with small crews. You absolutely can. <laughs> Elon and Vivek are fighting fraud and cutting waste and the Democrats are against it? Because why? They work for Trump? Because they're Democrats and they have to be against everything Republicans do? So stupid. Democrats used to be for this stuff. We know big government does not have all the answers. We know and we have worked to give the American people a smaller, less bureaucratic government in Washington. And we have to give the American people one that lives within its means. So sensible. 1996, that was a lifetime ago. That was a lifetime ago, but it was so sensible. <laughs> See, these are the old school Democrats that a lot of people who vote for Trump voted for back then. And the new Democrats don't understand why that transition happened. It's, it's clear to see. It's clear to see. The era of big government is over. The era of big government was just getting started. That's right. In 96, Fed spent $1.5 trillion. This year, about $7 trillion. More bureaucrats, more spending, more debt, and less power for you. Why did he need to spend so much money? Listen, again, the goal of Doge is to cut government spending by $2 trillion. So to get that seven down to about five, I mean, is five trillion not enough for the government? I mean, goodness gracious. And that all changes on January 20th. Maria Bartiroto is the host of Mornings with Maria on FBN. So what do you think Elon Musk and Vivek are going to do on day one? Oh, well, I mean, you've got this list. They're going to go through this list and they're going to start chopping things right away. I mean, I think what's even more egregious than seeing the stuff that you just mentioned, that incredible list, is the fact that most people don't even realize how much their money is being wasted. And every year they're paying taxes and they don't really know where that money is going. Now we know how it's being wasted. It's and the craziest part is that our tax money gets wasted and they keep raising taxes. Okay, local federales that keep raising stuff. Inflation going through the roof, taxes going through the roof, and our tax money just gets set on fire right in front of our eyes. And the whole thing with Kamala and the campaign spending is emblematic of this. Listen, Kamala has no say in the matter. She's an employee. The consultants and people behind the scenes, the staff, they just communicate with people who want to get money, who want to get favors, and they get their money. Jay-Z calls them and says, hey, you know, I, my, my wife and Meg, they want some money. And then they just give Beyonce $10 million for a five-minute speech. Uh, Make the Stallion, $5 million for a concert at the Atlanta rally. Wasteful spending in the campaign will translate to wasteful spending in the federal government disgusting could you imagine what a more efficient better government we would have if people didn't steal a half a trillion dollars if the budget's seven and they're stealing a half of a trillion we wouldn't even be in debt if mm. we could clean that up in a couple decades and who's accountable i mean why is it that we are watching this fraud and this stolen money every year who's accountable uh, is there it's like is there, uh, is there no is one there, uh, is there a fault. cop is there like a cop in charge of the spending? Yeah. Doesn't treasure? I guess now we have two cops, uh, Vivek and Musk. So the Democrats are going to fight this, Maria. The Democrats are going to be against reducing the debt. Of course, because that's how they make money. It's, it's not even about nothing. It's not about policy. It's not about trying to protect the democracy. It's not about that. It's about, hey, I have a job counting the quills on the hedgehog. And I get paid a quarter million dollars a year to do it. So if you cut government waste, you're going to cut my job. So I'm going to fight for my job. I'm not fighting for the country.
that's what that is. But there's more to this. I'll leave it in the box. Shout out Jesse Waters, Maria Bartiromo, Fox News, everybody. Anyone who has a brain and can see that government waste is not a good thing. But as I close, I want to say this. I love this new administration already. This is going to be fantastic. We have to reduce the spending. They keep talking about, oh, we got to tax the rich and tax the rich and pay their fair share. Is, is that going to be an effective strategy or would a more effective or actually effective thing be to cut the spending, cut the size and scope of the government? The government is a big part of the problem in this country. They're the reason why we got the crazy student loan debt bubble, because when the government guarantees the loans, colleges charge whatever they want to charge because they're basically given the blank check by the federales. Whether you pay the money or not, as the borrower, the college still gets paid because the feds are guaranteeing the money. And ultimately, it all comes from your taxpayer money. I like my money that I'm working very hard for every single day to be used in a more efficient manner. So I appreciate your Rand Pauls, again, for the festival support. I appreciate Elon, who was able to come in and cut 90% of Twitter staff and have it run better than ever. I appreciate Vivek, a very smart guy. I appreciate everyone who wants to have our country run more efficiently. Simple as that. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on this whole situation with uh, Vivek, Elon, Rand Paul, anyone who wants to cut government spending? Is it a good thing? Bad thing? I don't see why it would be a bad thing. I mean, must we count how many... Frogs, you can boil in 25 minutes on 400 degrees and, and pay a million dollars for it. I mean, that sounds ridiculous when I say it. But once you look at some of the things we spend money on, I, I'm not really that far off with my crazy example. But whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I am 100% in favor of this. 100%. And maybe if we cut some of that government spending, we're also going to, at the same time, kill two birds, one stone. If there's not so many of these government jobs, then maybe there's going to be less government corruption overall. Maybe, just maybe. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.